Welcome everybody out there here to our next uh, webinar about uh, JFT Invest Improve Your Investing Experience. A warm welcome in the name of JFT Bank as well. And my name, yeah, Stefan, Stefan Friedrichowski, uh, as always for those kind of uh, webinars. So whenever you want to get in touch with me, you see already my uh, direct uh, email contact here. Just call me Stefan. That uh, makes life much more easier. So. Today, oh, I forgot to mention the date. We have the 6th of June, uh, 2019. And uh, yeah, EZB interest rate decision is already history. As always, nothing new. But that's not the topic of today, of course. We talk about JFD Invest, which is a trading platform, a little, little bit of uh, social trading, a little bit of Miro trading. So it's a trading platform. You can invest money into given strategies and follow those strategies and all the procedure around. I will explain during the webinar. If you have further questions, do not hesitate to drop me a note or you write an email to support at jfdbank.com as well. Anyhow, we will help you with whatever is needed. So. In total, we will discuss, as always, three topics. We go for the highlights of last week. We uh, go a little bit into the strategies of how is JFD Invest running, what have you to do to be part of JFD Invest, and of course, we will have a look to my personal JFD Invest account, which is a portfolio of, in total, right now, as we speak, six strategies, and we look to the performance of that portfolio as well. I mentioned already a name, portfolio. JFD Invest means finally, if you um, do it at least how I do it, that you do not only follow one strategy. No, you you create your own portfolio with trading strategies you put into that portfolio. You do the allocation, which amount of money goes into which strategy. You are setting the risk levels for any strategy so you act as a portfolio manager, which is a quite cool job, I can say. It's a pleasure for me that we have today really an international um, participants here. Uh, if I would try to pronounce all the names here correctly, that would be really funny for me. But anyhow, it looks like we are extremely international here uh, today, which is a pleasure for me as well. So I said, OK, let's have a look to um, the highlights of last week. Let's start with that. So last week, and if you get that newsletter, uh, or if you don't get it, then just uh, drop an email to support as well. But that's um, what has been last week, the best one. And that was a strategy Hyperion. We will have a closer look to that strategy uh, in a few minutes. But it's within one week, that strategy um, has a profit of 4.5%, uh, which is really a good level. And there are other strategies performing quite well as well. So, but that strategy in particular is trading, and later we will see more or less only DAX and Dow Jones. And if you like something like that, that strategy would be something for you as well. So, overall, let's have a look how it really works with JFD Invest. And that's quite easy. We go to the homepage, and normally you start not here. Let me bring you really into the um, pool position. Um, here. So um, that is the homepage of uh, JFD. And there you find a button which is simply called investing. So that's uh, the starting point for JFD Invest. And let me first scroll down a little bit and get in order to get you, um, let's say, a little bit curious about what we are really talking about. Let's first see there's always a table which is updated uh, in the night with the top five performing strategies. So here you can see already a little bit of what we are really talking about. Those trading strategies under the names Hyperion, Archimedes, Brimstone, Goldmine, Balance, that's only five out of 15 we have, um, are really quite doing a good job. You see the return of those strategies, double digit numbers. So that's really cool. And um, we see some other key figures here already as well, like last month's result, uh, year to date, for example, and equity balance deviation, which is an important uh, key figure, but that I will discuss later. So those kind of trading strategies can be um, 
and part of your portfolio as well. Since I get already a, a question here, let me at least briefly um, cover that one. Um, the question is, uh, what happens to Galileo? I will come to that uh, because now it's um, the, the strategy on the, the down side of the top performing strategies, and I will comment on that as well um, when I will be on the table with all the strategies. Um, but anyhow, so those strategies um, can be part of your portfolio and all the others, of course, as well. And how to do, how to get started is really quite simple. So um, it's four steps. So you open a JFD Invest profile, which simply means you press a button, sign up. Still, if you do that, no costs involved, uh, nothing, even no money is uh, involved at all. It's only that you have a guest uh, access, uh, or a little bit more than the guest access, because that one you can use already without signing in. But then you get a little bit more details about the strategies. So you open and just invest profile, which means you need your email address and you give a password for that account. Next step, if you like, then um, it would be to open a JFD Invest account, which is a special trading account. So you cannot, even if you are already uh, a customer of uh, JFD Bank and you have an existing account, you cannot use that one. You need an additional one. Why? So that special JFD Invest account is meant only for JFD Invest, as the name is already telling you, which means that account um, is able to follow those strategies. And uh, that account has a leverage of one to 100. And that's a good thing because you you follow professional traders, therefore you get the same conditions. The only, you may say, downside is that you cannot trade by your own in that particular account. So trading like open a trade, Euro, US dollar long, that's not possible, the only is you can select strategies, you can follow them, and you can um, deselect them, so you can stop allocation anytime. Finally, you connect both uh, your account with your profile, and then you can start with everything uh, directly. But let's have a look what happens if you just go as, an, uh, as a guest into um, JFT invest because that is something you can do always you even don't need to be a client um yeah so that's what you get on the next page here you find the complete list of all strategies there's a second page we will come to that and um now we have once again the top five performing strategies right away here and now let me try to describe what i would recommend in order to get really started. Because before saying, okay, I want to follow Hyperion, uh, I want to follow Archimedes, it's always good to have a closer look to those strategies. It's a little bit like a strategy review I recommend you to do in order to see, does a strategy fit to your personal preferences? What do I mean with preferences? You might say, okay, the return is brilliant, I want to go for that. Yeah, but when we look a little bit more close, those strategies have ups and downs, and um, that's important to understand them. That, in for example, equity balance deviation for the first one is 40%, which means there have been temporary losses uh, within that strategy, and that's not the drawdown, it's just the losses of open positions, which have been at 40% of the account. Okay, you may think that's too heavy, then okay then this strategy would be not the one uh, for you, but you see there are other possibilities, for example, like Archimedes, Goldmine, uh, Neptune, which have even single digit numbers for those floating losses. Floating losses, once again, means it's, it's like normal trading. I mean, you, you open a trade, then instantly you are in the minus, at least um, in the next millisecond, because you have uh, to pay a spread, for example. Um, and then later you might even be more in the minus. And that is exactly floating losses. So that's the difference between balance, which is your account with all closed trades, and equity, including all open trades, so all uh, running trades. But okay. 
let's go for Hyperion uh, first in order to, to see a little bit more how you can do your own review process in order to get familiar with the strategy and to in order to see yeah, this is more key figures about that strategy. So, of course, at first we see the growth. It was the same picture from uh, my email. Um, and what you can see here already as well, there's a balance about 12,000. There's an equity about 11,500. Okay, there are, as we speak, floating losses above about 700 euros. Okay. That's one information you have always here. The other thing, since I mentioned already equity balance deviation, you can have a view on that even temporarily. That means if you press that button here, equity balance deviation, then you see where, uh, that deviation versus time. And you see from time to time, the strategy has higher um, floating losses and is recovering and so on and so forth. So right now it's a level of uh, 6% and that is part of that you say you like or you do not like. What you can see else is always a monthly return table. Uh, of course, the best one would be only green numbers. In this case, not. But overall, we saw that we have already a total return of more than 100% since March last year, so a little bit more than one year. You can have even more statistics on the trading strategy. You see, for example, the number of executed trades, which is close to 2,000, which is a good sign for such a strategy in the sense if there would be only eight trades, eight lucky winners showing that kind of performance, mm, I don't, um, I, I would not like it. So if there are statistics behind, okay, that's good. We have all the other uh, numbers, but what may matter quite important for you as well might be the traded instruments, if you like them or not. In this case, we see, okay, most of the trades are executed on DAX and Dow Jones. There are several trades on um, light oil and uh, two trades on um, US dollar and Japanese yen. So majority is index and if we, um, uh, would be locked in as uh, with a profile, then we would see at least all closed positions. And then you would see that uh, there are long and short trades, uh, of course, as well. I think that we could learn already here. Yeah, long one, shorts one, that means um, strategy is trading both directions. Okay, so that is part of the review process I described. Um, and it's really important to have a view on that. Let me point out one additional thing because we can press the equity button here as well. And you may see things like, whoops, what's happened here? Okay, always look to the growth and not to exactly this one here because what happened here is uh, not losses in terms of trading. No, it was simply a withdrawal within that account. Uh, and that is reflected in the overall equity, of course, as well. So you have always uh, to compare a little bit uh, this uh, graph if you really want to see both equity and balance all uh, in one graph. But then I would prefer the equity balance deviation. And the other quite important graph is always the growth itself because there you learn a little bit more about potential drawdowns within the strategy for example from here to here that would be a drawdown of um, about 50 percent so that's part of the review process let me first because i don't want to forget it um, answer the, the, the question about galileo <clears throat> and uh, here we are uh, galileo uh, is now here on the downside of the list <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> um, and let's have a look to that strategy because there was a question and you see, whoops, there was a huge drawdown within the strategy and that is not, uh, it's still, there are open trades. There is an equity balance deviation, which is quite high, uh, as you can see by those numbers. So they are still open trades. So strategy is still running and um, of course, yeah, it has open positions which are actually in the minus. So let's have a look what kind of instruments the strategy is trading. 
Okay, um, mainly Euro, US dollar and British pound, US dollar. And since I know more of, uh, of any of those, uh, of those strategies, I know the reason for the problems. The reason is British pound, US dollar. Um, the strategy is heavily invested, unfortunately, um, in the wrong direction. Wrong, you mean um, one does not never know before you enter a trade finally, uh, but in this case, um, yeah, there are accumulated losses of open um, trades. So hopefully, a British pound, US dollar is doing the right move. The right move would be in this case, as far as I can remember, um, it should go north. Uh, then we will see a full recovery here, um, back to the normal uh, growth behavior. Okay, that about uh, Galileo. So answer to the question is um, lots of open positions um, and those are long positions on British pound US dollar. But we have more strategies as you can see and you have strategies for example like um, let's go for example for balance um, another strategy showing quite good returns we can see okay there was the maximum drawdown of um, 15% equity balance deviation, for example, uh, maximum was about 12%. And if you look that uh, key figure versus time, which I always like to look uh, for any strategy before investing into the strategy, then we can see, okay, there was uh, last year, May, there has been some, let's say, problems, but overall it's mm, in the range of 2%. So that strategy is much less volatile and on the other hand, okay, it doesn't have that return like Hyperion. And now we are at the point, the best would be to create your own portfolio. So really, I recommend go through the list, go through the numbers in order to, to investigate by yourself which number is acceptable for you, for example, in terms of drawdown, for example, in terms of floating losses. And if you think uh, a number like 40% uh, is too high, okay, I think then I know your decision. Um, but if you want to have other strategies with a lower equity balance deviation, for example, okay, for example, NEP2 might be an interesting strategy uh, for you as well, um, showing this kind of growth uh, quite steady. Okay, there have been a drawdown here, and that is a real drawdown. Uh, so there have been trades uh, ending at a stop loss, really in the minus. Uh, therefore, it's not uh, recovering instantaneously like at the beginning here. Now, uh, here we have a different situation. Oh, sorry, I have correct to correct myself, uh, there have been losses here as well, not only temporarily, uh, because that strategy is closing all the trades um, before midnight, or to be more precise, before swap costs. So you don't have overnight positions with that strategy, which is um, another good idea. And if you look for the traded instruments um, for this strategy, you see a huge list. Uh, I think it's about uh, 28 or 29 different symbols which are traded by that strategy. Not all in the same frequency, but um, overall, it's already a portfolio in itself. So, which is uh, always good to have those kind of strategies within your uh, overall trading portfolio as well. Finally, I want to mention one additional strategy which is not that old here within JFD Invest, which is Goat Rush, which is a totally different kind of strategy. You can see that already by looking to the uh, to the growth of that strategy. There are other strategies who are doing reinvests, like mentioned Galileo. Uh, reinvest, not sorry, rebuys. Uh, so they buy even um, if they have losses then they do a rebuy um, that is part of that strategy like Galileo um, or the other one uh, which um, has been FX Global for example that is more risky of course but have those strategies have more steady growth if nothing goes wrong that kind of strategy here is obviously not doing something like that because um, it's not a matter of equity balance deviation uh, definitely no 
uh, in most cases it's extremely uh, small and that strategy is just trading statistical edges of a couple of uh, symbols just one trade per day if so and you see the list of traded instruments is quite long once again so uh, it's trading heavily different kind of symbols so very interesting strategy maybe for you as well i said let's have a view to a real jfd invest account so um, with real i mean something which really would look like your personal uh, jfd invest account as well uh, you know since we started uh, last year in september uh, jfd invest year at jfd bank um, i started with my own private uh, portfolio and here you can see the gross um, or indeed I mean, here we can see the balance of my personal jfd invest account i started with uh, 10k and then you see something happened at 16th of may there has been a loss and now it's um, already on the way back to recover what happened there okay hmm. i think the answer was partly already on the table the strategy was invested in galileo and in epix global and and but what i used was a risk management so i set a specific level which you can always can do for a given strategy so if a certain loss for a given strategy is reached then strategy is stopped out which has happened here okay now you think hmm, maybe it would have recovered yes or no in this case the answer would have been no uh, at least not for uh, fx global um galileo i stepped out uh, earlier uh, i think a little bit but then it happened like this so we have a step down in my portfolio okay anyhow i have still a gross return of 30 percent and if you see oops that's something i want to touch uh, during the webinar as well because there are fees involved because what you see here okay my overall growth is a little bit over uh, 2k or two and a half k and my gross return is 30 percent hey where's the difference the difference is the performance fee but the good thing is that is high watermark that means you only have to pay for a given strategy if strategy is reaching new highs let me because i forgot to mention that earlier show you that a little bit more in detail for example for the strategy um, archimedes um, which has an overall growth like this which is perfect that is the one with all green numbers uh, for any any months uh, given and if you go here for the details of the strategy then you see okay there's a performance fee involved which is 25 percent so it's not a base fee or a management fee no only um from those profits on based on high watermark uh, you are charged with that amount that may sound much but indeed it the good thing is it's only if there are profits um, and still what you can achieve you have seen on my account uh, more than two or about two and a half k in about eight months with a 10k account that's the growth of close net growth of 25 i think that is remarkable and uh, quite good um, you can see by the way other things here uh, if you go for the details you can see how many investors are following that strategy and how much money is totally under management uh, who follow that strategy and the last important number is as always the minimum investment sum so that's the minimum sum you have to invest into uh, if you want to follow in this case archimedes the number is different um, for um, different strategies let's have a view on where i'm invested as we speak and you can see i follow right now six different strategies with different amount of uh, allocation uh, you see that a few of them are pro oh, only one uh, is still here protected that gold rush is protected with 50 percent loss all the other ones have no protection that means uh, in principle i could lose the complete uh, money here uh, of that strategy and here you can see um, that i have let's say one problem within my portfolio and the one problem uh, is the strategy hesperus uh, because there we have 
um, about 500 euros equity balance deviations, which means we have floating losses with that strategy. Let's have a view to Hesperus uh, here a little bit more in detail. Uh, and you can see exactly what I mentioned. Um, so if we go for equity balance deviation, then we can see that there are floating losses um, as we speak. But anyhow, it's only one of those strategies in my overall portfolio. And finally, with that portfolio behavior, portfolio investing, I managed two things. One is a quite steady growth. Okay. And there has been one drawdown. Okay, I have to accept that because I'm uh, from time to time I follow strategies which are risky. I know that. But nevertheless, even those steps down, let's say I can afford, so to say, because the growth overall is much higher even if I have step downs like this one here. So it's not, um, it, it, for me, it's part of that trading. It's part of, it fits, still fits to my personal preferences. And therefore, I'm fine with that. Just that you see how easy it is, how to follow a strategy. Um, just to, to see, I'm locked in, in my profile. I have a, a JFT Invest account. All the next thing I would have to do would, for example, um, I, if I want to follow a strategy Archimedes, okay, then I would press only that button and then I have to uh, allocate an amount of money for that strategy. And you see minimum is 3K. <laughs> My available uh, money is less than that. Therefore, I cannot really start that procedure here. But that's all. Then next part is that risk um, management. Let me at least show you how that works. So there you have a slider um, you can set. And how does it work? For example, if we invest 3K in the strategy, if that slider would be at 50%, it means if the strategy is losing one and a half thousand euros, then the strategy is automatically stopped out. That was exactly what happened um, when we saw my drop down in my uh, balance uh, for that strategy because um, that strategy has been stopped out and it was uh, FX Global as far as I can remember. But here you can see that you can protect your account. It has always two sides. If you put that slider to very small numbers, then it might be that there are temporary losses and you are stopped out and later the strategy is recovering and then you don't get that return in your account. On the other hand, then your potential losses are always limited. Therefore, as always, when it comes to trading, when it comes to investment, it's a matter of the balance between risk and profit you gain, you, you, you target for. So, um, and I can tell you, you cannot have a 50% profit uh, with um, a risk of 10%, at least from, from my experience, that is something which will not go. Uh, so therefore, those numbers, risk and potential profits, they are always related when it comes to investment. And the higher the risk, the higher the, the potential profit, but a guarantee, of course, uh, is never uh, there. So uh, it's both which you have to take into account. So. To make a long story, show, story short, oh, sorry for that. Um, if you go for JFT Invest, of course, I think is such a review process is highly recommended that you really know what kind of strategies you want to have in your portfolio, what of kind of historical drawdowns have been there, what kind of historical equity balance deviations, so floating losses have been in that given strategy, and then you can create according to your preferences, your personal uh, portfolio. And then the other good thing is, wherever you are, even on holidays, if you have access to the internet, you can do at any time any changes. You can 
select new strategies you can deselect them you can uh, how easy that is i want to show as well so if i want to stop for example power fx no problem just stop allocation and then the strategy is stopped out that is everything um, so it's quite easy all trades are closed and um, money is released that you can do wherever you are uh, the only thing is, of course, you need access to the internet and then um, you can have a look to your account and you can change the settings um, like you want. That's for now. I know or I hope that we have a new strategy. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but next week, uh, um, hopefully, there's showing up a new one. Uh, at least uh, that's uh, what has been mentioned to me before the webinar okay let's see and uh let's see whether that strategy is good for our portfolio or at least for my portfolio and then um hopefully we will cover soon with that drawdown here but you see we got already about 400 euros since uh, that drawdown so maybe in uh three months i'm back again here at that level let's see um Keep fingers crossed and I wish you at least uh, a good day and a good week the rest of the week. Hopefully we can see each other again or hear each other uh, next week. Or we will have another webinar about JFT and West. If you have further questions, no problem. I will show the slide. Then you see once again my email address. Uh, just drop me a note and or you write to support at jftbank.com uh, and we definitely will help you with whatever you have in mind. Okay, that's for now. Enjoy your day. Bye bye.